What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number 25. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the whole remix process. So I'm going to show you when you get the track, when you get the vocals, match the tempo, line up the vocals, bounce it down, bring it back in, and create your new remix track. Now, you'll see the vocals here is very simple, but it's simple for a reason. It's just so you understand that anytime you speed up vocals, it is going to be exactly on that tempo. So with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and play the track that I created here. Listen to it for a bit, and then we'll work with it and go from there. Let me press play. All right, so that is the track right there. So you get the gist of it. One, two, three, four is the vocals. And we're going to take those vocals and speed it up a little bit. So first step we got to do is actually find the tempo of the track that we're going to uh, be remixing. So here's the track right here. It's not that long, but hey, it is our track. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and just like we did in the other tutorials, go down to inserts, go to metering, BPM counter, stereo, go to begin the track and press play to find out the BPMs. And logic is right. This song was recorded at 92 BPMs. So what we're going to do is change our whole session to 92 BPMs. Just so we have everything lined up. Now, this is the way I like to do things. Some people might not like to switch the whole tempo and then go back and forth. But this is the way I like to do things. So I'm showing you how to do it. So now we change the whole tempo of the session to 92 BPMs, which is the original session. Now, the next step we got to do is line up my vocals. So I got my vocals right here. So we want to take those vocals and speed it up to, let's say, 127 BPM. So we want to make a drastic change, make it a lot faster, because my new song is going to be like a dance type of song. So what we got to do, first step we got to do is line up these vocals. As you can see, most of the times you get all the stems of the track nicely and even, so they all end at the same time and all start at the same time. But in this case, I want in this case I want to show you a more difficult way in which you get the original track, you get the vocals, and they don't line up. They're not the exact same length. And that is a problem. We want them the exact same length when we are changing the tempo of the certain track. So what we got to do is line up these vocals to match the original track's vocals. So let's just go ahead and hit play. And I'm going to go ahead and line up these vocals. So right there, as you can see, I lined up the vocals. The way you know that you lined up the vocals perfectly is when you just hear one vocals just louder. If you hear sort of some sort of doubling, you didn't hit it right on the spot. You got to move it a little bit more. So if I go ahead and hit play again, you'll see you'll just hear one vocals just at a louder, uh, just at a louder volume. One, one, two, two, three. All right, so now that we know that we got my vocals exactly the way it should be lined up with the whole original track, now we're going to go ahead and bounce down these vocal tracks to match the exact length of the original track before we go ahead and do all the tempo changing. So I'm just going to go ahead, solo my vocal track and bounce it down. Now I brought in my vocal track that I bounced down and I have it exactly the same length as my original track. That is the key thing you want to do. You want to match up your vocals and make sure the in and the outs is the exact same length of the original track because then when you change the tempo, you'll know that everything is going to be in perfect timing the way it should be. So again, I'm going to go ahead and play and you'll see everything's perfect. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. One, one, two, two, three. All right, so I wanted to make this a faster tempo, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to 127 BPMs. And I'm going to remember the original track, which was 92 BPM. So I'm going to select my audio track, double click it, go to factory, time and pitch machine, just like I showed you in the other tutorial videos. Do original tempo 92, destination tempo 127, hit process and paste. 
my algorithm I kept complex because vocals is that pretty complex. All right, so now I got my vocals perfectly lined up at the faster tempo at 127 BPM. So if I just go ahead and solo it, you can take a listen to it. I'm going to go ahead and play that with my click track so you can hear that it is exactly right. It's going to make my click track louder. So you see that is on time and everything is good. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my original track because that I want untouched. We can now go ahead and move it around to whatever we like to match our remix track. I'm going to just bring in a track that I've created here. As you saw when I brought up the click track, it was hidden. Just going to bring it like that. So here's my kick track. Just going to go ahead and unmute these. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Solo this and solo my vocal track. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. All right, so right there you see that my vocal track perfectly aligns with the new remix track at 127 ppms that is because i set my in and my out exactly the same length as the original track and now i can go ahead and move it around to whatever i like like i said and while you hear that's faster and it just sounds good actually 92 to 127 ppm is a big jump but it sounds pretty clear and sounds pretty good so as you can see you can do whatever you want with vocals just as long as you know the original length of the track go ahead work with it that is it for me. I'm Adam from My Music Mogul. If you have any questions on this, remember to uh, ask in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. More great videos coming soon. I am getting to all your questions. I do have a lot of them, but I am getting to them. So with that said, I will talk to you guys soon. Later.